This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX to find all the angle you need at the topics of trigonometric functions. All right, so first you have to understand like example in the exam, if you have something like sine x equals 0 0.5, how many angle you have here? Yeah. Most of the students will answer maybe you have one or two angle, but my answer here is if you have sine x equals to 0 0.5, you will have infinite answer. So when I say infinite answer, what do I mean by here is something like this. Because the sine graph will never stop, it will keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. So therefore, over here, when sine x equals to 0 0.5, what happened is you can see the line 0 0.5 here. It actually will keep on intersect with the sine graph here. And the sine graph will keep on going. So therefore, each of the intersection point here will be one of your answer. So you can see how many answer you have here. So normally, if the question want you to find like sine x equals 0 0.5, it's so important that the question must give you the range. So they will tell you, okay, the angle X must be between 0 and 360. That means I only focus at one cycle. So which is here will be 360. So I want only want to find the angle within this range. So therefore, I will find how many blue dot I have, which is 2. That means I only have 2 answer. If the question change this range to like 720, then you will need to find the angle from 0 up to 720, which is here, 720. So how many blue dots you have here when sine x equals 0 0.5? You have 1, 2, 3, 4. You should have 4 answer. Alright, so right now, if you have 4 answer over here, how are we going to find out all the 4 answer here? So the first thing is you have to understand this table, which is add sugar to coffee. Or some students just remember like all sign teacher crazy. <laughs> yeah, just use whatever method you find good for you to remember. Okay, so from here, this one will be 0 to 90 degree. We call it first quadrant. 0 to 180, we call second quadrant. 180 to 270, we call third quadrant. And then 270 to 360, we're going to call it the fourth quadrant. Right. So A here basically means at the first quadrant, all will get positive. This one means only sine will get positive, only tangent will get positive, and only cos will get positive. All right, if you understand about this thing, right, the second thing I want you to sort of memorize here is at the first quadrant, we just call theta. That means if you type in the calculator, you want to find an angle between 0 to 90, it's just theta. But if you want to find the angle at the second quadrant, you kind of need to obey the rule like 180 minus theta. So same thing for third quadrant is 180 plus theta. And then last quadrant, the fourth quadrant here will be 360 minus theta. Okay, just follow the rule here. It will be very easy for you to find the answer here. So example, if I want to find the first angle here, it's quite simple. I will just move my sign to the other side. It will be inverse sign. Then it. So... I just need to tap shift sign 0 0.5. Alright, so here, if this one is 0 to 200, uh, 720 degree, you, you realize the degree, it's so important that you make sure you, uh, above your calculator here, you see a D symbol here stand for degree. If this is not D, you can simply change it to the degree by doing the shift menu, and then you choose for the angle units you tap 2 sometimes can be in radians sometimes can be in gradient but in this case we want it in degree so i just tap 1 here so i make sure it's already in degree then i tap enter so which is 30 degree all right but like what i say you should have four answer here so how are you going to find a second answer is something like this all right so you because this value here, 0 0.5, you know it's a positive value, right? So therefore, what I will focus is when sine will get positive at the first quadrant and also second quadrant. So how are you going to find the second quadrant answer is something like this. Your theta 
is between 0 and 90, right? 30 is between 0 and 90, which is first quadrant, 30 degree. So the second quadrant will be just 180 minus 30. You just type 180 minus 30, then you will get 150. So it will be 150. All right, if I want to find next answer, will be your first answer here, plus 360. So you just imagine 30 plus 360, you have 390. So if you want to find the next angle, will be your second angle, plus 360. So you just do 150 plus 360. Then you get 510. So if I want to keep on moving to, to find my next angle here, I just use 390 plus 360, which is 750. And so on. I can keep on plus 360 to find my next answer if I wanted to. But because my range is between 0 to 720, so I will not ignore uh, I will not accept the last one, 750. Okay, then now, how do you know all this angle is correct? So what you can do right now is you just type in the calculator sine 30, see whether you get 0 0.5 or not, which is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. All right, so I will just try all these values. If I change my 30 degree, go to 150, I want to know whether I will get 1 over 2 or not. Yes, I'm getting 1 over 2. Then I press the go back button, delete it, and then I change it to 390, see whether I will get 0 0.5 or not. Yeah, I get 0 0.5. So if I go back again, I change it to 510 here, I want to see, yes, I'm getting 0 0.5. All right, this is how you can get all the angle here. Okay, but what if today we change the values to, we change the value to negative. Let's see what happens. So let's say sine x equals to negative 0 0.5. If I want to find all the angle here, we we'll still remember this one, add sugar to coffee. The first one is theta, second one is 180 minus theta, next one is 180 plus theta, the last one will be 360 minus theta. Right, whenever you have the negative value here, you kind of need to find a reference angle or some reference book say basic angle. So Okay, how are you going to find reference angle or basic angle? It's very easy. You just move your sign to the other side, become inverse sign. Ignore about the negative sign first, 0 0.5. So you can see this here will be negative 0 0.5, right? But I only, I only write the positive 0 0.5. I temporarily ignore it first. So what I will do is I want to find out what's my basic angle, which is the angle at the first quadrant, but it will not be my answer yet. So I will just do shift sign, 0 0.5. So the calculator tells me it's 30 degrees. Then you shouldn't write x equals to 30 degrees because x is not equal to 30 degrees. This one is your reference angle for you to refer, which is the angle at the first quadrant is 30 degrees. All right, so let's say this case, I want it to be slightly bigger. I want zero until 1080 degree. All right, so right now I need to find all my x answer here. So if you assume 30 is your answer. You type sine 30, you don't get negative 0 0.5. You only get 0 0.5. So therefore, you kind of need to obey this rule over here. Okay, because of add sugar to coffee, it tells me sine will get negative at third and fourth quadrant because sine only get positive in second quadrant and first quadrant. First means all positive, right? So therefore, T and C means sine is getting negative here. So if my reference angle or basic angle is 30. So quite easy, you understand it's 180 plus 30, isn't it? So you just type in the calculator, 180 plus 30, you get 210, which is your first answer here, 210. And the next one will be the 360 minus 30. So 360 minus 30, so I will get 330. So if you want to find the next angle, like what I say, you the first angle plus 360. So 210 plus 360, you get 570. And the next one will be plus 360 again. Then I will get 690. And then I want to find the next angle. I will plus I will use 570 plus 360 again. So I get 930. So if I want to get the next angle one more, I will use 690 
plus 360. This is how you keep on find all the angle by keep on at the 360 here. All right, then I'm going to double check. Is it all this angle actually gave, give me the value of negative 0 0.5? You can try to maybe sign 1050. You see, negative half. And then I change it to, what if I change it to 930? 930 is negative 0 0.5. What if I change it into the 690, then you can see it's still negative 1 over 2. If I change it to 570, 570 it's still negative 1 over 2. Yeah, basically this is like what happened is when a sine graph like this, this is negative 0 0.5, then you will get all this angle here. So this one will be all our answer Okay, so this is how we use the calculator to find as many anger as possible. So if you are interested to buy this calculator, I will share the Lazada link at my description below. The link will bring you to the Casio flagship store. Because right now, uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper in the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.